Alright, what's up guys, and in today's video I'm going to be doing the Pacific Standard Heist from Luster, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it the easiest way possible. So let's get right into it. Alright, so first it's going to load up the mission, and Luster is going to be talking about some random stuff, he's on meds, and basically he's going to be telling you what do you got to do, what do you have to get for this heist. Um, of course this is the finale, so... I'm not going to be going through any of like the uh, submissions before this, but this is the finale. Um, and as you can see, I'm setting it to 40%, and then everybody else has 20%. Um, since I'm the leader, I should, you know, get a little bit more raise. And then you want to go ahead and set up your costume or whatever you want to pick. Once you're done with that, you'll be coming out of the apartment and heading down to the Pacific Standard Bank. Alright, so once you're there, you and your team want to go to the front of the bank here. And you're going to see a little cutscene here. It's going to take you inside of the bank. And this is where you're going to apply all your weapons and masks that you set beforehand. Alright, so now what you have to do is basically take out the bank security guards. And one team is going to be the hackers and one or hacker demolition. And then the other team is going to be the crowd control. And um, basically, don't kill the civilians. Just keep them... Um, Keep your intimidation level high so they don't try anything and basically you're just going to be um, cracking into the teller's gate and heading down into the bottom of the bank. You want to go ahead and hit the second door, um, go ahead and detonate that door and once you get down past that door you just want to go down the steps and take out the two guards that are waiting for you down below. And then the hacker will have to go down um, to the other side and get on the control panel here and basically um i think it's kind of cool it's basically a computer and uh you just uh as you can see you just go to my computer external device and then brute force and basically all you have to do is just line up the red letters with the blue line and it'll make a key or a passcode whatever you want to call it and it will let you into the uh vault Alright, so as you can see, I am done um, with the control panel here, and the vault is opening easy as that, not hard at all. And then you have to open one more final gate, um, you have to detonate one more final gate before you can get to the actual million dollars. Alright, so once you made your way through that teller's gate, you're going to want to go into that back room and just start hammering that A button and get all the money you can, which obviously it's not going to be that hard with two people. Um, it took us about, I think, like a minute to get all this stuff, and um, just don't press B, just keep pressing A and you'll eventually get to a million dollars. Once you collected all the money, uh, there might be a couple guards waiting on you down there, so take them out, and then you wanna head back up to um, the top. All right, so you and your other partner who has the money wanna stay back and keep the doors open for the crowd control. Let them take care of all the cops um, out in this area right here. When it says exit the bank, you can just stay in for a little bit until Lester actually says you need to exit the bank now, and then you exit the bank. The crowd control has already taken out all the police officers that are in our way, and then you're gonna make your way to the getaway route that Lester um, kind of schemed up here. All right, so then you want to make your way down the getaway route and follow the route until you get to the end. Um, yet again, leave all the heavy work and the heavy load up to the crowd control. They will take care of um, killing all the police officers for you so you don't lose any money as long as you stay hidden from the cops. And right where you parked the um, street bikes, the last, I think it was like one of the last missions um, before this. And you just want to go ahead and hop on those. Also, you want to get a, um, some body armor that's uh, in the crates beside the bikes as well. And this method is the easiest way that we have discovered so far. Um, when like, You're not going to get shot a lot. Um, just follow the way that I'm going. You want to go hit on the interstate um, highway here. And you could rather, you, you can go anyway, just get on the interstate. And... Um, you can ride on either side to um, basically juke out the police force and just um, don't get shot. Alright, so now you want to take a sharp left and you want to go up this little mountain or hill, whatever you want to call it, and just follow this road until um, you reach the top of the hill. Please note that there will be police officers waiting out by the road and swap we following you um this is the only time you're going to be losing any type of money because the interstate is basically um the clear path and you're not going to get shot at all all right so you want to make your way up to this mountain here um this is the easiest way that i've found as well a little shortcut here and make sure you hit the check mark and um what i did was just boost it through the tunnel here and now you just want to follow the path up to the top of the mountain all right so once you make it up to the top of the mountain you want to go ahead and hit your booster 
or K-E-R-S, whatever you want to call it, and just go flying off that edge where the checkpoint is and hit your parachute open um, so that you'll be able to land on the boat. So once all your friends get into the dinghy successfully, you just want to ride off into the ocean and you will be awarded with your $1 million or however much you got. We got $870,000 and... Um, this is why I'm making it the easiest way possible because each time we've tried, we've gotten 600, 700,000, and this seems the most successful way so far. All right, so if you guys enjoyed today's GTA 5 online heist, leave a like down below to help show your support. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button so you never miss another GTA 5 online gameplay. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.